This one's for the high school and middle school English teacher. If you are not an ELA person, just slide. Just keep going. Students, go away. Just scroll. Okay, hopefully they're all gone. Teachers, let's talk. Kids can be horrible to each other. Cruel, like painful. And I found a little tool that I think might help us. So it's a story more than 100 years old by Catherine Mansfield. It's called The Doll's House. It is so good. It's about these little girls, and but it's really about social structures that keep us divided and the maintaining of a cruel structure that victimizes the most defenseless. And it is, it's just so good. And then I, I also not only fell in love with the story, Margaret Drabble is an actress who reads it. It's about 19 minutes. I'll put um, information here. Um, her reading is so good. I've, I've listened to it probably seven times now and I just love it. So if you're looking for a story to start the conversation in a safe way about bullying, about social class, about actions we can take to rise above, cause it actually is such a, a heart tugger, but it ends on a hopeful note, which I love. So it, it has hope for us. Um, find it. It's public domain. Um, I've typeset a copy. Um, you could then, you could have Margaret Drabble read it to your class. You could write up some questions. I've written some, if you want my questions, there's a link in the bio. Um, and then I found this piece of artwork that then students could analyze and connect Henriette Brown's piece to Catherine Mansfield's story. And it's just such a, a lovely way to spend a period and a half or two periods with your students. I'm thinking seventh, eighth, ninth grade is the sweet spot here. It's got symbolism. It's got illusion. Uh, it's just, it's really, it's chock full of good stuff and kids can read it at different levels. So anyway, if you want a copy, I made some stuff. I love it so much. I hope you like it.